Yo, what up guys? Today I'm gonna be talking about the best shrine for your, for your certain weapon. I've already done what's the best gem for your weapon, so today I'm gonna be doing shrine. So first I'm gonna start off start off with scythe. And personally, I'm a scythe dancer with shadow, and I really enjoy um dancer on scythe. So just because you get more agile and dashes are better with shadow too, like if it's nighttime popped off some amazing combos too with it so scythe dancer 100 percent or one trick you could go dancer or one trick with scythe second axe axe now i don't know if many people know this axe can hit people while they're ragdolled so like if i use if i use um ruanium and uh, ragdoll them and they're like right here in the corner i can m1 them while they're ragdolled so that's really good so i I'd, I'd say wrathful or dancer Wrathful, because it doesn't need that much magic damage, but the plus 5 melee damage is very good for it, because, like, you know, the ragdoll combo. Or just M1s especially, it's really good for it. And Dancer, because it makes it faster and better dash. Third weapon we got is Dagger. Now, Dagger, people say Dagger is the worst weapon in the game, but it's really good if you use it correctly. So, I'd say one trick or Wrathful, because... Dagger, one of Dagger's moves is, um, it's like a Bane. Like, you pop in, like, the first M1, you TP to them. And if you land the combo with, like, one trick, which gives you plus 8 melee damage, that's gonna do a lot. And if you got, like, Rage Gem and you're low, that's probably gonna one combo. Or Wrathful. One trick or Wrathful if you still wanna use, um, magic, but wanna have a melee, um, buff. So, yeah. One trick or Wrathful for Dagger. Fourth weapon, spear. I'd say one trick or dancer. One trick because I got max spear, I've used it. The combos you can pull off without even using magic is crazy. It has a true combo, very good. Showcased it in my spear showcase video. Showed the, the one combo with it too. So one trick or dancer because dancer is pretty good for anything to be honest. Because it's just better, makes you faster, agile. Especially with Shadow. But, uh, for those who don't know what Dancer does, it, dodge cooldown is lowered. But you are stunned for 25% longer. But the M22, M2 cooldown is half, so that's really good too. So, for Spear, one trick, or Dancer. Greatsword, I also have this, um, I used to main Greatsword, it was my first weapon. i definitely say Dancer or one trick, because you can only feel the Dancer M1, uh, M1 buff. The M1 to M2 cooldown is half. You can only feel that buff with Greatsword, to be honest, because Greatsword is slow. So I think you, I think Dancer would be really good with uh, Shadow, Dancer, Greatsword build. Like, like basically my build Shadow and Dancer, but Greatsword, or one trick. Like many people say one trick is for Chads. <laughs> I kind of agree, but with Greatsword, one trick is really good, because if you had land those M1s right, very OP very good class itself with um one trick for the last weapon sword now sword personally i think it's very op because of the sheer combos you can pull up and it has a counter so really good moveset but for the best shrine for sword i'd say one trick or wrathful because to be honest it doesn't really need magic it just needs to land the combo like with one trick if i have eight plus damage on that sword I'm gonna do some really good combos. Like, I'm gonna pull off the, the, the last skill, the Z move with, um, sword. If you dash with it, you get, um, you get no stun. Like, you don't get end lag with it. So, if you land it, really good damage. And it has, like, basically an action surge that just multi-slashes, so it's really good. But if you still wanna use, like, combos with magic and sword, just go wrathful. It's just, a uh, 3 plus damage uh, decrease. But don't get me wrong, 3 plus damage... Is really good like any any plus damage is really good and plus HP but I will be listing every um every shrines ability and what it gives you and the list like I did in the jump video down in the description and comments well no I'm just gonna post it in the comments but for those who want to just be all-out mage because there's no really mage class right now because it's really OP if you do just go Stoic. Like, Stoic is plus 15 extra HP. If you get the Face Your Fears quest, which gives plus 10 
HP with no losses, that's gonna be plus 25 HP. And if you just spam spells, OP, bro. That's OP. Like, just get Shadow, Stoic, and just Main Mage. OP, bro. Literally so OP. And probably get Sword with it, too, if you want. Because it has a counter. Like, who wouldn't want a counter? But, um, the other Mage-related, um, Shrine is Scholar. It has plus 25% spellcast speed. Minus, uh, spells cost 5% uh, percent health to use, though. 25% mana cost for spells. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you really want to go Stoic or Scholar, Scholar's, like, to help you with the spells. But if you want, like, extra HP but still be able to use any class, go Stoic. But I don't really recommend Stoic or Scholar if you're going, like, any of the melee-based classes. Because Mage isn't really good in the meta right now, because everybody has spells. Like, j but they have, like, Dancer and stuff on Scythe. But yeah, that's the end of this video. This is the, my longest video. I hope you enjoyed it, just like the gem video. Please like and subscribe. And I'm out.